through the cracks in the wall. Anna's family sat shivering from oh. hunger and cold. Let me warm you up, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Go to sleep. Stop talking nonsense. Where are Mom and Dad? Look, huh? it suits you well, Anna. Just wear it, Anna. also made her learn the manners of the nobility. Mm. Oh, our princess has returned. <laughs> Here's your crown princess. Please stop, Mom and Dad. I don't like it. Anna, huh? only you can change our family's fate. <sighs> As time passed, Anna grew more beautiful earning the nickname the Princess of the Slums. One day, Anna's parents overheard about a welcome party for the Duke's long-lost son. No, this house belongs to you, sir! Please don't sell it, Father. We'll have nowhere to live. Ignoring Anna, her father divided the money from the sale, buying her a fancy dress. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. I'll find a noble to buy a title for you. Then you can attend the royal party. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to be a fraud. So, you want us to suffer forever? <laughs> Eventually, they found Baron Giles, whose family was suffering due to his daughter's grace's extravagant lifestyle, having sold all their valuables. Huh? Huh? Apart from the noble title, the Giles family had nothing. Hello, Mr. Giles. My family wants to rent your reputation. How? <laughs> fine, fine. I agree. <laughs> Thus, Anna officially became a nobleman's daughter. Anna, do you have any money? I need to recoup my lost bets. <laughs> I don't have money. Really? Poor yet craving for status. <sighs> the royal party approached. Can I bring my parents? They've never been to a luxurious place like this. Just don't bother me. <laughs> Thanks to her keen observation skills, Anna mastered the manners of the nobility like Grace. She diligently read noble books and noted them in her diary. Hmm. May I meet the queen? And you... I see my younger self. <laughs> May I offer you a drink? <laughs> I can't drink alcohol. Then I have an idea! <laughs> These little magic tricks I learned are quite useful. <laughs> Hello, beautiful lady. I'm Tristan, the last son of the Duke. May I invite you to a dance? couple a match made in heaven <laughs> huh? I will marry Anna I've liked her from the first glance <laughs> Anna is a fraud she's just a commoner from the slums not nobility <sighs> if you're genuine can you list all your family names <laughs> er I um Anna confidently <laughs> recited the entire genealogy that she had memorized and noted in detail. 
<laughs> then who are these, Anna? Are they your real parents? These are just her close attendants, right, Anna? I care for these poor people, so I let them in. I'm sorry for disrupting the party, Your Majesty. How can I blame someone with such a kind heart? Look, Grisa! Slander is unforgivable! You'll regret this when my father finds out. <laughs> Mr. Giles is on a vacation arranged by Mr. Hey? Tristan. You might have to wait. <laughs> Don't be too huh? soft-hearted, or you'll easily be exploited. Why did Tristan cover for me? Does he know my secret? After the party, Anna immediately went to find her parents. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've suffered because of me. I'll quickly establish my position to come back for you. Tristan took Anna to the castle huh? to prepare for their wedding. She was cared for meticulously. Hmm. Huh? I'll give you huh? everything if you convince the queen to promote me, becoming a trusted royal. With no other choice, Anna agreed. <laughs> she knew the queen liked sewing, so she ordered a handkerchief and claimed to have made it herself. Thanks to this, Tristan quickly got promoted by the queen. <laughs> Anna, give the queen this potion. It will make her lose consciousness, and I can achieve more than now. The queen has helped me a lot. What should I do? No, huh? I can't do that. <laughs> You're just an ambitious peasant. Stop pretending to be noble. Tristan had known Anna's real identity since the ball. Seeing her discomfort, <laughs> he helped her to win the Queen's favor. You! Lock her up. I'll destroy the slum so you can never return. <clears throat> I have two choices. Sacrifice everything to protect my family, or live in this life forever. Destroy this slum for me! <laughs> Stop! Let me go! Let go! <laughs> now I'm in charge! <laughs> Anna bribed Tristan's men with his own money. Huh? <laughs> she also had Tristan follow, uncovering the truth. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Oh, my son! It turned out Tristan was also a fool. <laughs> pretending to be nobility to change his fate. He had harmed the real Duke's son and planned to destroy the slums, his birthplace, to erase evidence. So you are all frauds. I can't believe it. Take him away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I don't deserve your trust. We know our mistake. Please spare us, Your Majesty. What you did isn't unforgivable, but you still must face suitable punishment. From now on, you will serve in the palace for life. <laughs> it was punishment, but also a blessing for Anna's family. Her parents would have a decent home, and Anna would have a stable job. They all would start anew, living happily together forever. Look, the magic box in the hand of that beautiful girl was creating a lot of treasures that filled this magnificent, <laughs> splendid room. But why did the more gold and silver the room contained, the older the girl became? Let's find out with Woa Fairy Tales! Once upon a time, in a small faraway kingdom, there lived two poor, kind, well-loved sisters named Ellie and Harper. Despite living in poverty, the two sisters always tried to work. They were loved by everyone, as well as received many gifts that were carefully placed in small notebooks. <laughs> Recently, the crops failed. Although the two sisters worked hard for rich families, they were often forced to work overtime with low salaries. Gradually, Harper became exhausted and got seriously ill. 
but they did not have enough money to pay for medicines. Ellie loved her sister very much, so she tried to do everything to cure Harper. But no one would save them. as rich as everyone else and have enough money to treat Harper's illness. I'm willing to give up whatever it takes. Because she could not find help, Ellie sadly returned to her small house. However, on the way home, she met an old woman who was injured on the road, so she rushed to help. Hmm. After being saved by Ellie, the old woman was very grateful <laughs> and sad to hear Ellie's poor story. I am too old now. I have been enjoying many riches and glory in this life. I have a precious treasure and I want to give it to you because of your great heart. This box can give the person holding it anything they want. However, each time making a wish, that person has to exchange something on her body, such as youth, beauty, or physique, to match the prayer. And in the process of making a wish, you must hold the box tightly, not letting anyone take it. Otherwise, the price and the wish will be effective on others. <gasps> Ellie half doubted the old woman's words, but she hmm. still decided to give it a try. I wish I had enough money to treat my sister, Harper. Okay, I will grant you this wish if you dare to trade a part hmm. of your long hair for me. Huh? Ellie was startled when she heard the talking box, but also mm -hmm. happily agreed to the contract. Oh, did this box really help you get this much money? Thank you very much for this gift. You are welcome. Use it as you think is the right thing. Then, excited and happy, Ellie left without knowing the old lady was smiling a sinister smile, and then disappeared. As for Ellie, after curing her sister's illness with the money she had, she also wanted to give her sister a richer life. <laughs> Gradually, she was willing to trade her beautiful face and elegant figure for a big house having servants for the two sisters. <laughs> However, the more Ellie used the box, the more negative her mood changed, and the more she wanted to be rich. Ellie thought that exposure to mud-splashed laborers in a poor environment was the cause of Harper's illness, so she forbade her sister from interacting with them. Moreover, because Ellie had a grudge against the rich before, when she became richer, she made them her henchmen. Even Ellie gradually lost the freedom and happiness of her sisters. She just stayed home, clutching the wish box for fear of losing it. Not only that, she also felt that the box had strange images and sounds that appeared more and more, making her mesmerized by it. As time goes on, Ellie separated from the outside world. The two sisters got more and more haters. Harper saw that Ellie's appearance and temperament were too different from before and used all means to talk, but Ellie refused to listen. Why should I care what those jealous people say about us? All assets now are created by me, not stolen, so you don't need to feel any remorse. In exchange for the treasures we had, you had to sacrifice a lot for me. I don't want you to continue to suffer from outside gossip and become such a selfish person. No! Because of you, I can do anything. And if you worry that those lowly people are affecting our mood, then I will create a kingdom of our own, making everyone be obedient. Even if the prince I have to pay is my soul. <gasps> it's not like that, sis. Harper took the old small notebook out and tried to remind Ellie of the good memories of the past. You see, we used to have a poor time, but we had a lot of laughter and happiness like this. So Ellie, I hope you can understand that money isn't as important as the happiness we once had. When Ellie was pondering her decision, she suddenly heard someone's seductive, hypnotic words in her head. Don't listen to Harper. All you are doing is wanting the best for your sister. 
Ah! Who? Who said that? Ellie, are you all right? Don't come near me! Currently, your sister is still young. She does not understand how it will feel when you had wealth and power. So she prevented you from fulfilling this wish. Ah, uh, that's right. Prove to Harper how valuable it is. Continue to wish and give your soul to me. Yes, prove everything to Harper by offering this soul. Hearing the sweet words, Ellie lost her mind and began to wish with the box that she wanted to have her own kingdom by exchanging her soul. However, when the box began to shine to take Ellie's soul, Harper hastily snatched it and interrupted the contract. Therefore, the price the box took away was Harper's soul. When Ellie woke up from the fascination of the voice, she discovered that her sister's soul was in the hands of the old woman she met the last time. Now she transformed into a witch. Turns out, the old woman was a witch who specialized in collecting other people's ambitions. She identified Ellie as the 100th soul to help her have enough power to rule the country. Once Ellie had more ambitious desires and obeyed the temptation, her soul would create more and more dark power for the witch. At the last minute, things didn't go as she planned when Harper interrupted the contract process and became the replacement soul. Brat, you ruined my plans! But I'm sure Ellie won't leave her poor little sister's soul to live in luxury! Isn't that right, Ellie? You! What do you want from me to return my sister's soul? Your soul, of course. Okay, if so... No, Ellie. If you do that, the witch will gain the power of darkness and take over the whole place. Ellie has always loved and is ready to sacrifice for you. There is no difficulty in making a wish in return and exchanging your soul. Besides, you should be proud of your sister, not be stubborn like this. No, even now, if she trades her life and everyone else's for saving me, I will be very sad. I believe she will also be sad to see this. Well, this is not your turn to decide, Ellie. Choose quickly before your sister's soul belongs to me forever. No, don't hurt my sister. Then hurry up and make a wish. Ellie hesitated, hmm. hastily picked up the box, and pondered over the words the witch and Harper had just said. But if I choose to replace Harper now, she and the people will have to live in misery later mm. under the domination of the witch. On the contrary, if the witch takes my sister, I am not worthy to be a sister. What should I do now? If that's the case, then I have to risk this last wish. Finally, Ellie took the box in her hand and began to make her wish. After she finished making her wish, her soul flew in the witch's direction, making the witch happy without giving any thought to Harper's soul. While the witch was happily walking towards the box and preparing to take over the world, suddenly a golden magic flow spread from the box to her body and turned her into gold. What's going on? No! Turns out, Ellie had silently said the swap condition with the box that she would accept becoming a soul if the next person holding this box would turn into gold to destroy the witch and save everyone. So when the witch got her hands on the box, invisibly she activated the condition Ellie exchanged. In the end, Ellie and the other souls were also freed from the witch's curse, and Ellie was reunited with Harper. However, this was equivalent to Ellie's entire fortune gradually disappearing completely. I'm sorry about the past. I have understood that money is nothing without you or happy memories of the past, so I will try to correct my mistakes and become the good sister I used to be. You made the right choice after all, and I believe with our efforts we will together build and reconnect the good relationships like before. After that, Ellie and Harper continued their lives, trying to work and live happily with loved ones. In the terrifying night, an Egyptian demon appeared, using dark magic to defeat the new queen and control everything to usurp the throne. 
So how does that <laughs> queen stop the demon in the dark magic? Let's find out. In ancient and prosperous Egypt, the king and queen had two beautiful and loving daughters named Sharifa and Ain. The two sisters enjoyed spending time watching the stars in the sky, especially the Orion constellation. However, the bigger they were, the less time they spent together. While Ayn was free to do what she wanted, Sharifa, as the eldest daughter, subject to more rigorous education. From a strong, intelligent lady, she gradually became arrogant, impatient, selfish, strict to everyone. So the two sisters gradually became less empathetic and more distant. And then, when their parents passed away, the day that Sharifa throned queen finally came. One day, while Sharifa was looking for precious materials for the crown, she suddenly noticed a sparkling strange jewel of the neighboring merchant and offered to buy. This jewel is the heirloom of my family. It has the meaning of the ancestral soul. I can't sell it to you. Well, if I like it, no one can stop me from getting it. Soldiers, take the jewel to make my crown. No, you can't. <laughs> well, if you take this jewel from me, I curse you. You will bear a curse to become a demon and submit to the dark forces when you put it on your head. Sharifa did not care about the trivial merchant's vague words and still take the jewel as she wished. On the day of the coronation, when Sharifa was happily preparing to ascend the throne, thunder struck and Ayn suddenly appeared with her emerald crown, using dark magic to manipulate her. Ayn, what happened? Ha 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 ha! It's just that now your sister's body and soul are all mine, this powerful jewel. So now I'm going to be the next queen of this kingdom! It turned out that, while Ayn intended to surprise her sister by personally bringing the crown to the ceremony, she was plagued by the evil curse from the jewel as she watched it. Then, Ayn was gradually controlled by the mind, summoning the dark magic to then seat it on the throne. <laughs> if anyone resists, Ayn would use his power to destroy them like did to Sharifa. But fortunately, Sharifa was safe after Ayn's attack. But when she woke huh? up, she found herself in a small hut. And when she tried to go outside, huh? in front of her was the desolation of the kingdom. Oh no! My prosperous kingdom has almost engulfed huh? in dark huh? magic. Who are you? Why do you see me and you don't kneel down on the altar? Ah! Huh? Please be careful and do not move hard, because your wounds huh? are not quite healed. I am an old wizard. When I saw you being knocked down by dark magic, I saved you from the evil spirit's pursuit, as well as taking care of you. I don't need you to be huh? grateful to me either, but you should look back at what you have done to your sister huh? and this kingdom for your selfishness to the Emerald. Not to mention, this is just a part of the curse. And until next Red Moon, if you can't lift that curse, then the whole place and your sister Ain will be completely engulfed in the dark forces. Mm. I'm so huh? sorry. I didn't expect mm. my stubbornness would make Ain and the people suffer mm. like this. So, is there any way I can go back there and make amends? If you want to go there, there's only one way, which is to finish huh? the Wings of Light which will get you anywhere. Mm. However, you must <gasps> find feathers from the giant bird and build your own wings mm. by yourself. I got it. However, she had lived in a royal family since childhood, so this thing seemed too difficult for her. Because of wary, Sharifa gradually fell into the nightmare that Ayn and the people were still controlled and increasingly lived in misery. Not only that, that soul was about to destroy Sharifa, which woke her up in panic. After reassuring herself, Sharifa continued to regain her motivation to work. 
but no matter how hard she tried, she alone could not complete the wings in a short time. So she came up with a plan to attract the rats around with food. So they could work for her. Finally, she completed her wings to return to the kingdom. Sharifa, even though I know you miss her and try your best for her sister and the people in the past, Ain is still being controlled by the dark spirit. So try to get the jewel from the crown. I got it. Thank you for helping me all this time. Then Sharifa spread her wings under the sun. Immediately, it took her to the pyramid huh? of the gods, huh? where Ayn was inside. Mm. However, she could not pass the gate of the god eyes, because it was haunted by the curse of the <gasps> evil spirit. She had to understand what the pyramid figures and stars written on the gate meant anything so she could get in. However, despite trying a lot of answers, she could not find the right one. Ah, uh, I've come all this way, but I still can't solve the puzzle because saving people... If only I wasn't that selfish and spent more time with people when I was a kid, I wouldn't have caused this risk. Besides, I also have more time to be with Ain and look at the starry sky as before. After that, Sharifa realized huh? that the images huh? on the gate were referring to the constellation of Orion. In the past, the two sisters used to talk about it, so she tried to match the results. Indeed, the answer was absolutely correct, and the god's eye on the door suddenly fell huh? into Sharifa's hands. Although she did not understand what a sign it was, huh? Sharifa kept the god's eye in her and went on further. As she entered the room, she saw huh? Ayn lying beside the tombs of ancestors. So she hurriedly approached to see the situation. Huh? Suddenly, she was attacked. Sharifa yeah. dodged the dark spell and quickly managed to take control of Ayn. Huh? Huh? When Sharifa decided to remove the jewel from the crown, Ayn oh. quickly knocked her over, took the jewel, and swallowed it. <laughs> At the same time, the red full moon had finally reached the top, adding the ultimate dark magic to Ayn so she could steer fear for the people and devastate the entire kingdom. Oh no! Huh? If the dark spirits keep huh? messing around like this, everyone will be close to huh? death. But that means, to save people, I really need to do it to aim? No, I can't. Anyway, this is my mistake, so I have to try to atone it myself no matter what. In the end, Sharifa swallowed the pain into her heart, continuing to fight with mummies and I to gain control. What are you doing? Let me go! <laughs> no, I won't let you go. To me, you're the only family I have left. Moreover, in my quest to rescue people, I have learned many lessons. <laughs> From being respectful of all walks huh? of life, working huh? hard, being smart to not rush to consider anything, it's all helped me grow up. However, Ayn was now completely manipulated by the jewel, so she still insisted on destroying Sharifa. In a hanging by a thread situation, the god's eye of Sharifa suddenly glowed, shining towards Ayn and revealing the dark spirit behind her. Sharifa quickly took the opportunity, yanking a sharp feather over her shirt and tossing towards the soul. In the end, the jewel was shattered to pieces, and the dark spirit was completely disappeared returning freedom to Ayn and the Egyptian people from evil rule. While the two sisters were rejoicing, suddenly the pieces of jewel flashed and turned into the wise god of Egypt, Thoth. Huh? Reading the mighty Thoth? But why did you come out of that jewel? Because I am the jewel as well as your trials in your journey. It turns out 
found out that God thought knew that Sharifa was a good person, but in the past, huh? she was not good enough to be the queen. Therefore, Thoth transformed as the merchant, the old wizard, and the dark spirit to test and refine huh? Sharifa into an Egyptian queen who worthy of her throne and her people. I commend you on this journey and wish the new queen of Egypt, Sharifa, a glorious and prosperous kingdom. I also understand that I cannot be a queen with the right to be selfish, arrogant, greedy, and take away everyone's treasures. After all we've suffered, I have learned a lot of valuable lessons. Above all, I will try to take care of my sister and my people to build a strong Egypt together. I trust you. Thank, Thank you, you the mighty my God. God! Then, under the blessing of the entire citizen, Sharifa ascended the throne of the queen and led the people to a time of eternal prosperity. Wow, fairy tales.